Hi, my name is Akeem Ika. I'm excited to be on your screen again today. I want to encourage you from the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 13. The Bible says, I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And so this is John writing to assure those that have believed in Jesus that he died for their sins, he was buried and God raised from the dead. And he was writing to them so that they can know and be so sure that they have the life of God. You know John 3.16, written by the same John, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So in his epistle, to, he's writing again to assure God's people that I want you to know that you have eternal life. And why is he laying a lot of emphasis on this? The reason is because uh, we're in a world whereby there are so many voices out there trying to make God's people doubt whether they are really, really saved, whether they are genuinely saved. Um, the truth is, as long as you had the true gospel, that Jesus died for your sins, he was buried and God raised him from the dead, you are saved and you have the life of God. The life of God, eternal life, is not something you're going to have in the future. It's not something you are having gradually. It is something you received the moment, the day you put your faith in Jesus and what he has done. And so John will write and say, these things I have written unto you who have believed in the Son of God that you may know. And, you know, there's a place in the book of Romans, Paul, we say, I am convinced that nothing can separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. And I want you to be convinced about your salvation as well. I want you to be so assured and convinced about the life of God that you have on your inside. Um, no matter what you're going through, it doesn't change the fact that you have the life of God if you believe in Jesus. No matter how you feel, it doesn't change who you are or what you have in Christ. I don't want you to define yourself based on the things happening around you. I want you to define yourself based on what the Word of God says about you. And what did the Word of God says about you? The Bible says you have eternal life. So wherever you are, let me encourage you by just say to yourself, just say, I have the life of God. And this life came as a gift because I believed in Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I just want you to be encouraged and be assured that what God said you have, you have. And there's nothing that can ever change that. You have the life of God, even eternal life. And John will say, these things I have written unto you so that you may know. And I will say, I'm making this video as well so that you may be assured and be convinced that since you put your faith in Jesus, you have the life of God right now. Not in the future, you have the life of God right now. God bless you. Amen.